Dr. Jones, um, I want to talk to you about gum disease, periodontal disease, gingivitis. To me, it's all the same. It's just a different name and a different stage, maybe. But in the end, it's an inflammation, an infection in your gums. Would you agree? That's right. Good. Yes. Now, I have, I have a question about that. Almost every dentist, when, you, when he tells you that you have gum disease, the first thing out of his mouth is that you will be losing your tooth, your teeth. That's right. Sooner or later. One right. year, four years, seven years, you will eventually right. lose them. Now, here's my thing. Here's my, my beef with this whole thing. While this is very, very uh, bad to a degree, uh, losing your teeth, okay, because, uh, well, it's bad. However, it costs money, all kinds of things when it happens, a fair amount of money if you want to do it, and all kinds of things. But here's the thing. At the very least, one thing is for sure. Dentistry has advanced phenomenally, and we have talked about implants, grounds and bridges. There are even dentures which are implant supported. So they're relatively cheap uh, compared to a whole set of implants, and yet apparently they're fantastic. And we're going to talk more about it one of these days. But um, the yeah. point is... Dentists are good. We're not anymore in a time where George Washington, who apparently had a wooden tooth. This must have been awful. Um, but here's what I think. While you have a gum disease, it's an infection. It's that yellow, reddish, ugly pus in your mouth. Yes. The gateway yes. of your mouth, blood vessels. There's nothing goes yes. through the blood faster than all the thing around here. It drips right. down, it ruins the liver, it ruins the kidney, the diabetes system gets higher, it ruins the immune system, uh, yeah. babies get, uh, they get born underweight and, um, yeah. and, uh, and, and premature. In fact, here yeah. in California, there was a baby still born because they found gum disease stuff in the placenta of yeah. the woman. Now, yes. isn't that stuff a lot more devastating than Absolutely. the missing teeth? which you might have to spend 20 grand to fix them, fine. If you have yes. it, if you want to, go ahead. But at least it can be done. Yes. Isn't that other stuff much less repairable? Because over those four, five, six, eight years, uh, how the hell are you going to get your kidneys back? I mean, I'm not saying they all fail, but you, you get my point. Shade some light on that. Absolutely, and I'm amazed with you. Uh, no, you're not off at all. Uh, I'm amazed with you. How many patients that we will tell that they have gum disease? In fact... Helmet, did you know, just speaking dentistry, not even the whole body, that more teeth are lost due to gum disease than to decay or to fracture or any other. In fact, if you combined all those other reasons, they still wouldn't add up to the total number of teeth that are lost just, just primarily due to gum disease. And of course, when there's gum disease comes the bone loss. So the, the bone loss now, if you have gum disease and you're losing teeth, the bone is already gone to, to put dental implants in. So, let, let's go back, though, instead of the, just the dental issues, which are many, let's go to the systemic diseases. The diabetes, did you know that there was a study done where they, all they did with 100 patients who were on medicine for their diabetes, all they did was clean their teeth and take care of their gums, and did you know that the blood sugar overall for this whole group went down by 30%, all they did was take care of their teeth. All Unbelievable. they did was take care of their gum disease. Unbelievable. And some of the people could go off of their medication because of it. That's how important that is. Wonderful. Absolutely. So, so you agree that, you know, it, it, never mind the smelly mouth. A guy got to have a smelly mouth for it when he has that to gum disease yes, going on. You know, um, and, and, and all the Listerine isn't going to do it. Um, all right. So, but the point is, so this is important because... Is it true that a gum disease in, in a mouth, a nice, decent gum disease, which doesn't take too long to, almost like a, a, a rotten apple in a basket, it doesn't take too long to get every apple rotten, right? Same here. Uh, that doesn't no, mean the teeth, doesn't, that doesn't mean right. the teeth fall like out right away. But, so that, that disease, that inflammation is almost as big as a, as a, as a person's hand. Is that true? Oh, absolutely. In fact, you know, Helmut, um, one of the things, we, you know, we have suspected this in dentistry for years and years, but it's only been in the last four or five years that we've had the research to go behind it. In fact, did you know that, that some medical insurance companies 
are paying for pregnant women to have their gum disease treated because they know that their costs will be less overall than that baby being born underweight with other problems that they have. So the medical insurance is now paying for pregnant women to treat their gum disease. It's extremely important for any people time, to understand. Any time, an, any time an insurance company volunteers to fix something so there's no bigger problem, you know you better they fix it. They never do that. Exactly. They're, they're looking for more ways not to pay you than to, to pay you. And so when they come up with that program, you know that's got to be a, 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 a very, very important um, issue and a, a money saving issue for them. And so how, how real and important that is Point. for, for all of us to understand what a, what an effect gum disease has on our entire body. Point. That infection that is just dripping into our system every day. Not only does it, does it, uh, um, have an effect on our diabetes and the birth weight of children, but did you know that, um, the inflammatory process is one that actually, uh, contributes to heart disease? And the um, atherosclerosis, the, the hardening of the arteries that causes us to have strokes and causes us to have heart attacks, all of this is and being linked And dementia, to Demen dementia, health. forgetfulness, because, you know, the blood doesn't dementia, get... All of that. You know, all, exactly. all of that. Well, you see, if a person has a, let's just say, like a, like a quarter or a dime of an infection on his hand, you know, it kind of like, you know, um, for more than a, a few days, a week or whatever, he will go to a dermatologist, as he should, as he should. Yeah. Yeah. And here he has a handful of it in his mouth, and he doesn't yes. do anything about it. And yeah? he doesn't do anything about it. And yeah. you mentioned... You mentioned disease, that, you, you disease speaks up on us. Right. You know, it comes on slow, Helmut. And, and for a lot of people, you know, they don't know or they don't think that they have a problem. And, and so it's really once they understand, yes, I do have a problem, they really need to get that taken care of because it has so many just devastating effects that can happen to their body. Right. In fact, um, you mentioned something about the insurance companies um, uh, recognizing that and uh, promoting that treatment so that further problems are not there, especially with pregnant women and stuff. Uh, I mean, who wants to be uh, maybe still getting pregnant, wanting to get pregnant, and then, uh, uh, but, but they, I mean, it's like a drug here. Like, you know, a drug mom will pass on the drug. I mean, it, you yes. know what I mean? It, this is what this is. But let, let's go back to the MDs, to the surgeon. Um, you know, the guys who do hip replacement and use the same sure. titanium that you use for uh, the yeah. implants, uh, the guys yeah. who do Pentex and, uh, and, and tonsils and whatever. Yeah. I have heard that only lately, four or five years a little bit, give or take, um, um, most of those surgeons, before they engage in such a surgery, be it appendix or a hip operation, they will ask the patients to get a clean bill of oral health. And they're not talking about Julia Robertson smile. They're not even talking about a cavity or two. They're not talking about TMJ right. and misaligned. They are simply right. talking about get talking your about gum disease gum. fixed because if not, yes. my cat might get infected. And if, if it doesn't, your body is so weak that if I weaken it by cutting it here or again with my surgery, you might have major complications. Everybody knows that a surgeon will not operate on your hip if you have a major lung in uh, uh, infection. Well, a major That's gum right. infection apparently now is leveled up to the same, uh-oh, no good. That's right, because the bacteria that's in your mouth all the time um, can inoculate your whole bloodstream. And if they're doing surgery or they're doing a hip replacement, they do not want bacteria floating around in your body to enter the place where they just did surgery to cause a major, and maybe even a failure of that hip surgery. So they will not do that surgery if you have a gum infection and you have not been cleared by a dentist uh, before you have that surgery. Absolutely, Helmet, that's a very real problem. And we see that all the time where uh, hip surgeons have done hip replacements and there's been an infection and they've had to go back in to, uh, to replace that, that new hip that they just got. And, and we're not even talking about the pain and the suffering that the patient had gone through. We're, you know, and the, the um, days and weeks that they have to spend in therapy or in the hospital to have that replaced, all right. because they had a gum infection before they started. Exactly. 
Now, while the things which we talked about here, some of that is a little bit, so, so to say, doesn't happen all the time in that severity, no. thanks God. Sure. Uh, but imagine if it came to something so severe, wouldn't it be putting down your immune system? Wouldn't your next flu season, which for sure is going to come, it doesn't matter where you live, twice a year these days or three times a year these days, uh, it's going to come. Never mind the swine flu, the bird flu, just a normal little, you know, type of infections running around. Wouldn't one get that a lot easier? I mean, the potential of it. Absolutely, sure. Because your, your immune system is fighting off your gum disease. And if all of your immune system is trying to help you fight your gum disease, which is a losing battle, by the way, unless you have it treated, um, then your immune system will be all spent with the next time the flu season comes around or another bug is introduced into your system. Um, your immune system will not be as healthy and strong as it could be. You're absolutely right. Well, I have some time here today, Doctor. I'm going to cut our interview short. Let me go to my dentist, check my gum disease. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> Good, good idea. Bye now.